Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to safely update from iOS 6 or any iOS 7 beta to the final version of iOS 7. Now, I've had a lot of people asking me to make this video, and here I am, because many of you guys are having issues, and for whatever reason, there is a lot of trouble updating to iOS 7. If you do have an iOS 7 beta, or even for some people on iOS 6.1.3 or 6.1.4. So in this video, I'm going to be using my iPod Touch fifth generation. It is running iOS 6.1.3, and I do want to update to iOS 7, so let's go ahead and begin. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is positively make sure you cannot update from your device. So go into general, software update, and attempt to update from here. Now, many of you guys will get errors or you just won't see the update in general. So if you're unable to do it from your device, the next step is to open up iTunes on your computer and go ahead and select make a backup. So you want to backup now. That is, of course, to preserve all of your important data like photos, music, etc. So make sure to create a backup just in case. Now, I'm not saying you'll lose your data, but you never know. So it's always important to make one. Now with the backup done, go ahead and select update. This should take you to a screen that'll ask you to update and download iOS 7 and, you know, just wait it out. If it does work, it works. But for many people, this will not work as well. So you guys want to download iOS 7 manually like I have here. I will have links down below in the description to where you can get iOS 7 for your specific device. And with your device connected, you want to go ahead and select option on a Mac and left click update or shift on a Windows computer and left click update and then go to your desktop or wherever you did download the IPSW and select open and select update. Now this will go ahead and prepare your device. You know, this is just basically a manual way of updating your device versus automatically doing it in iTunes, but nonetheless, it should work. So if all goes well, your device will be running iOS 7 very soon. And this does work for 6.1 point anything or iOS 7 betas. Yes, I know many of you guys will get errors in iTunes and that may be because you messed with a hosts file. So you can either fix the hosts file or you can actually go ahead and do this from another computer that hasn't been tampered with and you will be able to update to iOS 7. And guys, there it is. My device has rebooted, making this a successful iOS 7 install. So you want to go ahead and go through the little quick menu and go ahead and select get started. Now you guys are running iOS 7 on your device. Now remember, this does not work for the iPod Touch 4th generation, iPad 1st generation, or iPhone 3GS. So just keep that in mind. This only works on the newer devices. But once you do have it, you'll notice that it runs well. In one of my newer videos, I will actually make an iOS 7 battery fix because I have noticed that it was draining in my device and I did fix the problem. And guys, enjoy iOS 7. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.